What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 foods for your fish and corals. What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and if you're new to what we're doing here this is where I talk about everything reef tank related so if you love reef tanks like I do smash that subscribe button. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I wanted to get a top 10 video out to you guys. And one subject that I haven't touched on that is very important when it comes to saltwater fish and corals is food. What you feed your fish has a tremendous amount to do with the success of your reef tank. And it's not just for your fish, it's for your invertebrates as well as your corals. So it's very important to make sure that what you're feeding your reef tank is nothing but the best. So with that being said, let's take a look at the top 10 foods for your fish and corals. All right, guys, so honorable mention, we're not really going to talk about seaweed in this top 10, but if we were, this is definitely one that would be on the list. Two little fishes, sea veggies is one of the best seaweed products out there. So if you're looking for a seaweed product, definitely check it out. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is New Life Spectrum. Now, this is a must-have when it comes to food for your fish, whether it be freshwater, saltwater, reef tank, corals, the whole thing. Their pellets are a must-have for any tank, so definitely check them out. Coming in at number 9 on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is ocean nutrition now ocean nutrition really bridges the gap between fundamental pellets and flakes and then getting slowly into your freeze dried as well as frozen foods i haven't used their frozen food very much but i am a very big fan of their formula one flakes which my fish absolutely love and they look absolutely amazing. The colors in them just seem to pop, especially my clown fish. So if you're looking for a new flake for your fish, definitely check out the Formula One flakes from Ocean Nutrition. Coming in at number eight, and you know eight is great on our top 10 list, is Algagen. Their focus as a company is more specifically on live foods, that being copepods, pods. And they are an amazing food source, especially for fish that are very finicky and don't typically eat pellets, flakes, or even frozen food. A lot of the dry foods out there already kind of have copepods pods smashed and grinded in them already. So why wouldn't it be beneficial to add live copepods pods to your aquarium so your fish can feed at will? Adding live copepods pods to your tank can also increase the biodiversity of your tank. So it is extremely beneficial to add pods to your tank, especially if you're the mindset of starting with dry rock, dry sand. It's going to help boost your biodiversity in your tank if you introduce some pods. It's been a number of years since I've used Algogen, but they have been around for a very long time and have a very solid product. So if you're looking to add some pods to your tank, take a look at Algogen. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is Piscine Energetics. Say that five times fast. So Piscine Energetics came up with the idea of creating a mysis pellet. Now, the idea behind this is frozen foods, although they are extremely beneficial for your fish, but they do require a little bit of time to thaw it out, rinse it, and then add it to the tank. So they came up with the idea of taking their product and making it a dried pellet. Now, that's where PE pellets come in, and basically you're getting all the goodness that you get with frozen foods in a pellet that is fast and easy to use. I've been using PE pellets in my nano tank for a while now, and the fish that are in that tank absolutely love PE pellets, and it's definitely a solid food. And if you're looking for a new pellet, I definitely recommend you check it out. But Piscine Energetics has a ton of useful fish foods, so definitely check them out if you're looking for some new food to spice up your fish's menu. Coming in at number six on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is San Francisco Bay Brands. Now, San Francisco Bay Brand is definitely focused mostly around brine shrimp. And brine shrimp is a food that you want to use sparingly for the most part. It's not something that you want to completely feed your fish all the time. But this is a brand that is very solid and is going to 
offer you a hobby almost in itself because not only do you have the ability to use frozen foods or even dry foods, but they also have the ability to hatch brine shrimp. And I think that is fun. It's a way to get your kids involved in the hobby. And it is interesting to be able to hatch your own food. And somewhere in the Mad Hatter's Reef vault, I have a video on using this hatchery kit. And I'll be sure to put a link to that in the description. Just don't judge the video too harshly because it is a very old video. But it is fun to hatch your own food. But it goes far beyond that. They do have some of the best dry freezed products out on the market that will drive your fish nuts. One thing that I do want to mention that I haven't done so so far into this video is variety. Variety is the key to success when it comes to feeding your fish and keeping them healthy and happy. You don't want to get locked into one type of food because that's going to have an impact on your fish's health. And if your fish is stressed out or not having a balanced diet, that's when you're going to start seeing health issues happening with your fish. A balanced diet equals happy fish and healthy fish. Coming in at number five on our top 10 foods for your fish is Nios Liquid Plankton Concentrate. Now, I recently got the opportunity to take a look at these products for Premium Aquatics, and I did a video on that, and I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. And this product line has changed feeding my fish. It is absolutely astonishing how easy it is to feed my fish an awesome balanced diet with this product line. The three products are as follows. Chromis, Artemis, and Gold Pods. Each one of them is isolated and preserved in a way that is going to not affect the nutritional value of the products. And they have been preserved in a way that makes it so that you don't need to refrigerate them, but it is recommended that you do. They do keep a little bit better if you keep them in the fridge. Coming in at number four on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is Algae Barn. Now, this is also a company that offers live copepods, phytoplankton, and algae, and just a whole bunch of awesome stuff that is going to increase the biodiversity of your reef tank. Now, just this week, I got a shipment from Algae Barn, and I'm going to be doing a video on that in the next couple of weeks. And when I get that video knocked out, I'll be sure to put a link to that in the description below so you guys can check it out. And you can always hit the bell so you can get notified every time that I upload a new video, especially if you're interested in the Algae Barn experience. But as obvious, where we've kind of shifted to this dry rock, dry sand no hitchhikers in my tank when you're starting it mentality. It is very important to make sure that you increase that biodiversity in your tank with companies like Allergy Barn. Coming in at number three on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is LRS Frozen Foods. Now, full discretion, I have not used this product, but I do know that the people that use it love it, and it is definitely high-end fish food because when you are taking essentially seafood chopping it up and freezing it and the way in which they freeze it also locks in a lot of the nutrition your fish are going to be extremely happy so if you're looking to give your fish a treat definitely check out lrs foods it is going to be an amazing experience for your fish they're gonna absolutely love you for it just keep in mind that it is a sometimes treat it's not something that you want to do five times a day because you are going to junk up your water coming in at number two on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is reef nutrition reef nutrition has some of the absolute best foods on the market they have a combination of live foods as well as preserved foods and most of it if not all is used in aquaculture so if you know that aquaculture facilities are using it it's a pretty solid product last year on the podcast i had a clownfish breeder on and they were talking about the tdo chroma boost as well as a couple other reef nutrition products primarily that's all they use to breed clownfish and when you look at all the products that they offer they have their live copy pods they have the photo feast they have the roe they have roddy feast trigger feast they have so many amazing live and preserved foods for your reef tank if you check them out i guarantee you and your fish are going to be happy with reef nutrition 
coming in at number one on our top 10 foods for your fish and corals is Rod's Food. Rod's Food is some of the best fish food out on the market. It was probably about a year ago I started using Rod's Food, and within a couple of weeks, my cardinal fish started breeding and have bred ever since, and I really think that that comes from Rod's Food. Another great thing about Rod's Food is that they want to sell directly to local fish stores, so it's very important to them to keep that experience going to make sure that the local fish store is alive and well and you can't buy this directly off their website. You actually have to buy it through your local fish store. So that's just another great thing about Rod's Food and their mission. So if you're looking to use one of the best foods out on the market, I would try Rod's Food. You definitely will be happy that you did, and so will your fish. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for our top 10 foods for your fish and corals. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up, but we're not done yet. We need to award one of you with a $25 gift certificate to Mystery Reef Box. For those of us that are new to this, what we do is we take the video from last week, we upload it to the random YouTube comment selector type thing, and pick a winner who left a comment, hit the like button, and is a subscriber to Mad Hatter's Reef. So let's jump into our random YouTube comment selector type thing and pick ourselves a winner. Here we are, YouTube random comment picker, Nick217. Reefer, you have won a $25 gift certificate to Mystery Reef Box. Congratulations to the winner of the $25 gift certificate. I have found that the best way to get a hold of me is jump over to Facebook, search Mad Hatter's Reef, hit that like button, and shoot me a message, and we'll get that $25 gift certificate out to you. So that's a wrap on the top 10 foods for your fish and corals. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you feed your reef tank? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and you might win yourself a $25 gift certificate to Mystery Reef box next week all right guys that's a wrap on the top 10 foods for your fish and corals but the fun doesn't have to end here there's plenty more mad hatters reef videos to go around